in the interview process, they're like, oh, well, talk about how great the hair is. I'm like, what? <laughs> talk about how great the hair is. Like, I haven't tried it. Like, I bought it and it's coming to me, but I don't have it yet. They're like, oh, you know, we'll just go ahead and say that. I'm like, no. Girl came back with videos in today's video. I'm sure you guys into my title. I'm going to be talking about the top hair companies that cannot be trusted. Um, before we get into the video, you guys know what I ask if you're new to my channel. Welcome if you're a returning supporter. Thank you for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, help your girl grow. But um, yeah, so oh, and support me on Instagram if you guys are not already doing so. So I saw a video very similar to this, and I'm like, why didn't I ever think about doing something like this? I mean, I've done like my my best hair companies, my worst hair companies, um, but companies that can't be trusted and I hate that this has to be the first one on the list but if you guys have been on my channel watching my videos and if you know you know um, it's gonna be honey hair company and the customer service was okay but uh, I had we're gonna call it three experiences of me getting what I wasn't supposed to get or the product being subpar and then one experience where the hair just wasn't that good. So the one where the hair just wasn't that good, it gave me AliExpress vibes, was the blonde hair, uh, the blonde closure that I got from them. Um, and then I got a frontal where, <laughs> where the cuticles weren't aligned. I got another frontal where it looked like it had been plucked all the way through. Um, and then my most recent experience was the frontal that I purchased and it was dyed. I mean, I always try to get the benefit of the doubt like, hey, you know, maybe it's not them, maybe it's their vendor, but at some point in time, you got to take accountability for quality control. Like, there's just, I don't want to say there's inconsistencies, it's consistently bad quality, for lack of a better word. I mean, you guys have seen on my channel, I'm going to link those videos down below so you guys can check it out. It's just, it wasn't a great experience like overall with them, so it's unfortunate, but you can't trust what you're gonna get because what you see on the website is not what you get in person and to have four consistent subpar experiences it's just I did redemption time for them on my channel but I just I can't do it anymore like I that's not a hair company that I would recommend that anyone buy from so the other reason why I say you should not work with honey hair company um, and I don't want to say like this is like the straw that broke the camel's back but someone reached out to me claiming that they work with honey hair company to try to get me to take down some of my content now if you ever seen some of your favorite hair companies and you wonder like hey how come there's nothing bad out there maybe this is the reason why um i don't want to say that came as a complete it did come as a complete shock to me because i'm like you you just really i mean and who knows anyone can say they're from anywhere i'm just letting you know what's happened to me but like I was offered financial compensation to take my videos down. I'm like, I'm not doing that. This is my honest opinion. This is my experience. Like, you can't take some, you can't buy my experience from me and you can't pay me to lie to my supporters. Like, it's just not gonna happen. And for me, it says a lot about a hair company. I get you wanna change my experience, but change my experience by putting out a product to where when I review it, it's not a bad experience for me as a consumer. In addition to that, I was also doubted the very last time that I um, got hair from them and I told the like the lady on customer service, and I get it, you have people who, you know, are not versed in hair, but I'm not a person who's not versed in hair. Obviously, I have a lot of wigs. I've reviewed a lot of hair on my channel over the years. Um, so to doubt me, obviously you don't know who I am, but just to doubt me as a consumer when I'm telling you, hey, this is not what it is. So that just solidifies that this is not a hair company that I ever want to buy hair from or a hair company that I'd ever recommend to you guys again because it's just like, not only are you putting out subpar product or product that's not as advertised, but you're paying influencers to take their content down. Like, if that is not as bad as it gets, then I don't know what is. Now, the next hair company on my list, you guys should not be surprised by them, uh, is going to be Kendra's Hair Boutique. No surprise there, right? I know they have a lot of uh, celebrity influencers and they have a huge following on social media. Um, for me, that doesn't say anything. Uh, if you guys have been on my channel, I look at hair companies as a whole. Um, and it's 
my experience with you will also say how I'll do business with you going forward. And unfortunately, Kendra's Hair Boutique is just not that company. Um, her customer service is extremely rude. Um, it's like you take my money, you're making millions, you're you're doing well for yourself. Kudos. So I'm sure you had to, you know, crawl, jump over a lot of hurdles, if that's the right term. But you had to get over a lot of hurdles to get where you're at. But don't step on a little person like myself just to get there. So I had a very bad experience with their wigs. A lot of people commented and said they heard their wigs weren't that good. Um, my sister did also buy bundles from them. And I wasn't impressed with the bundles. Like it just se seemed like very lackluster like blah. Like it wasn't anything to say like oh let me write home and tell about it. Or let me tell my supporters about it. But I got a blonde wig from them before I wore the wig. I just knew it wasn't any good. Um, the lady on the phone convinced me like, oh no, you gotta wash it, you gotta wear it, it'll be fine. And it wasn't. The first day I wore it, the hair was stiff and the person that I was with didn't want to tell me because they know how I am when it comes to my hair. Like, I'll review hair, um, like, you know, in my everyday day-to-day, -day, like when I'm going to work, but when I'm going out and I put myself together because I seldomly do so, I don't want to go out looking crazy. And they didn't tell me how crazy the hair was looking. This person obviously is a guy, and guys don't really know that much about hair, but, well, the kind of guys I'm around don't really know that much about hair. So when they're, like, trying to sugarcoat it because they can see how bad the hair is, you know it's bad. So I was like, you know what? The bad customer experience, they lying to make me wear. And then after I put the wig on my head, now they're telling me, oh, I can't return it because I wore it. When I called you guys before I wore it so that I wouldn't be in this predicament, but got myself in that predicament anyway. That's also part of the reason why if I unbox hair on my channel, if I get a bad vibe about it, unfortunately, I'm just going to send it back because usually my vibes are accurate. And anytime I've ignored it, I've suffered for it financially. And I'm just not doing that to make someone else rich. So yeah uh after that experience and many other experiences if i get a bad vibe the hair is just going back sorry not sorry now <laughs> this other hair company um is the raw virgin hair boutique now back a few years ago they reached out to me to review some hair um i picked the hair that i wanted that was before i would buy hair anonymously or buy it myself and then um you know have them reimburse me this is kind of what changed that process for me on my channel so they were like well what do you want and I was like well this is what I'm looking for and I got the hair and I was like yeah this just doesn't feel like what it is so they were supposed to send me if I'm not mistaken Malaysian hair and I'm like yeah this just doesn't feel like Malaysian hair in addition to that it feels like it's been dyed and she was like oh no well you got the wrong hair product you got the wrong hair you know um, this was a customers and it was custom dyed for the customer so I'm like you know what let me go back here on my channel and put out a video because I never want anyone to get the wrong impression based on something that I've said. So I was 100% accurate in saying like, hey, it wasn't Malaysian hair and hey, it was dyed because they confirmed that with me. But then I had someone else reach out to me on my channel and they were like, hey, you know, I got this hair and it's just, it's terrible. So outside of them reaching out to me, like the hair was itchy. Like when I say the hair was itchy, like if you've ever had like, cheap hair sometimes it pokes you through your clothing and it's it's uncomfortable so I'm like that was a red flag in itself so after that person said that and they confirmed that the hair was dyed I went out and I purchased a bundle of hair from them and it was the exact same thing it was dyed and it was the wrong texture so you lied to cover up the fact that you probably didn't think I was gonna uncover the fact that it was dyed and processed yeah, you can't be trusted, like, at all. And, like, I feel as though, I was, like, back when I first started my channel, I feel as though they poached on me, um, and they were like, oh, well, you know, we're a black-owned business, and, you know, we're looking for help. And so, I'm the kind of person, like, I'll say, like, I'll support anybody. So, I feel as though, as a black content creator, they try to play on my emotions to kind of get me to overlook certain things. And after I looked through their page, and I got receipts, <laughs> I have tons of receipts maybe I'll include some in this video um, they're not a black owned business so like you know don't try to say different things and I'll maybe I'll try to put their page up there so you guys can see but you're not a black owned business so don't try to prey on me because I'm a small youtuber and I'm black and you think that that's gonna make a difference like I said and I've always said this I'll support anyone um, so I just didn't like they did that so they lied multiple times so they're definitely on the list of hair companies that just cannot be trusted. And last but certainly not least is Yummy Hair Extensions. Um, <clears throat> and 
I honestly wanted to give them another try because they, but they don't have a return policy. But my experience with their hair was I bought their hair. It was like my first experience like buying raw hair. I didn't actually realize that I've actually tried raw hair before. It is just a lot of companies called it virgin hair, which is what it was before. But if you guys have been on social media, you'll see where hair companies will change the way they name their product to appease to customers. And um, virgin hair is what it was called. Now it's called raw hair. Anywho. So yummy hair extensions kind of appealed to me. They're like, oh, raw hair, unprocessed this, unprocessed that. And I get the hair, and the first day of me unboxing it in my video, you guys saw a tangle. But I'm like, all right, you know. Again, back then, I dismissed a lot of things when it came to hair. I'm like, well, maybe this is just how it's supposed to be. And they had a couple different videos on their channel. I'm pretty sure I have receipts. It's been a few years. I don't know if I'm going to put them in this video. So I realized that they themselves did not know what works for the hair. Because literally, like, every other week, they were changing products. Like, do this, do that, do this, do that in their Instagram stories. And I'm like... None of the stuff you guys are saying worked. Now, what actually happened to work the best on that hair is Nexus. It's been a while. I'm sure I have a bottle of it somewhere. If I can find it, I'll put a picture of it here on the screen. But um, anything that they said that worked well for the hair did not work. No matter what I did to that hair, it was dry. I drenched it in oil. I co-washed it. Like It was dry. It was matted. It shed, but I dismissed the shedding because I actually got that hair installed and the hairdresser cut the wefts. So no way to tell if it wouldn't have shed if the wefts weren't cut, but it was an excessive shedding. Um, to the point where between them and Kendra's Boutique, I was like, I'm not... The Kendra's Boutique wig, I think it's now $1,000. Don't buy it. Sorry, not sorry. Um, it was $700 when I bought it and I spent, um, I want to say like about $400 on the hair from yummy hair extensions and <clears throat> it was about three or four months later I ended up sending it back and getting my money back through my financial institution because it's just like I'm not spending $1,100 on hair that is just not worth it like I'll spend money on hair I mean I have wigs and hair that are like easily over $1,000 and I have a couple of those wigs um, so it's not really the money but it's just like you can't expect someone to work hard for their money and you just send them like the the worst thing ever and I actually <laughs> um yummy hair extension actually had a pop-up shop when they opened up their Brooklyn store and I went there and I actually met uh Angela um Angela I don't remember her last name but you guys know Angela Revron's daughter and I seen the hair that she had in her head and it looked nothing like what I had now <sighs> the other reason why I've implemented this process policy you guys know what I mean um, on my channel where I buy hair anonymously because a lot of times people don't feel as though they get what influencers get so if you're reaching out to me to send me hair and you don't let me buy it first anonymously and then refund me I'm gonna buy it separately and try it out um, for that exact reason because the hair that Angela had in her hair versus the hair that I had in my hair just was no good now the other reason that yummy hair extensions cannot be trusted and I'm gonna try to find that video right I actually wore this wig um, to that uh, pop-up shop and this is actually a wig from Terry Styles if you guys haven't checked her out check her out her wigs are amazing um, and I went there and they're like oh do you want to do this interview and I was like oh yeah you know cuz I went I had like my camera I was vlogging I'm like you know this is like my first like on the go vlogging experience especially at like a hair store I don't really think I've done it since but you know I've done it before and in the interview process they're like oh well talk about how great the hair is I'm like what <laughs> talk about how great the hair is like I haven't tried it like I bought it and it's coming to me but I don't have it yet they're like oh you know we'll just go ahead and say that I'm like no so you want me to sit up here and lie about something I told you that is not I haven't even tried it out yet like that's a red flag and then they kept trying to tell me to say like say this is the hair and I'm like no no like so we're not gonna do that I don't care how big you are how much of a social media following that you have I'm not gonna sit up here and lie and tell my supporters the people who come to me to rely on honest content and tell them that this is that and I'm glad I didn't do that because I would have had a lot of people buying hair and it turned out to be garbage so absolutely not so you wanted me to lie on the spot they actually put a lot of people's video, like that promo video for that uh, pop-up shot. They put a lot of people in that video, but I obviously wasn't one of them because I wasn't willing to lie to people and tell them that one, your hair was great, and two, that this was your hair. So for obvious reasons, they are the last hair company on this list. Um, I highly, highly recommend that you guys do research. And unfortunately, um, I've come to realize that some of the bigger um, 
influencers here on social media not to knock them um but they don't do real hair reviews and like if you watch them install hair on like in one video and that's only the video that you're gonna get from them about the hair and they're telling you oh yeah buy it buy it that doesn't mean that it's good if you wear any hair even cheap hair on the very first day it's almost always going to behave so not saying that they're lying but again they don't wear hair like you and i wear hair so how can they tell you if it's really good or not that's something to consider and if you're also not seeing hair companies where there's real honest reviews like my videos like like my videos where they're telling you about the pros and the cons so those are the top four hair companies that i would not recommend that anyone buy from just because of my experience i mean you guys can make whatever decision works best for you um that's just been my experience and a lot of times here on my channel i'll have people say like hey you know you should have stopped a long time ago you've given these people so many chances and i feel as though all those hair companies have gotten multiple chances for me to make the situation right and it just didn't happen so for those reasons uh they're gonna be like the hair companies that i think you can't trust but um that is all i have for you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe share you know help me grow make sure you guys supporting me on instagram kim's life vlog but that wraps this video thanks for watching bye for now